Hey guys, Michelle here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use your mobile to create a fan page. And in order for you to create a fan page or a business page, you have to have a personal profile. So if you see right here is my icon for my Facebook, so you're going to tap on that, you're going to open it up, and you're going to go to your main news feed, okay? And what's going to happen is, is these three lines right here, tap on that, and then you're going to scroll all the way down to, it's going to go past groups, and then it's going to go to the pages section. See where it says pages? And right here, guys, you're going to tap on create a page. And then what you're going to do, it's so easy, you guys, but a couple of really important points, okay? You're going to want to get started. So you're going to tap get started. And you're going to name your page. Now, guys, this is where it is super important. I want you to think about your audience, okay? Who are you trying to attract? Who do you want to attract? Who is your perfect perfect audience. So are you um, are you in the health and wellness niche? Are you in the weight loss niche? Are you in the um, make money online niche? Um, I always, I if you guys ever go through any trainings with any top marketing um, professionals, they will tell you that you need to be branding yourself, not your company, unless you have your own company, okay? For instance, um, there's a there's somebody who's a, a marketer. His name is Tom the Furry Hat Guy, okay? He's branding himself because he wears furry hats, <laughs> okay? Um, but definitely, if you don't have a fan page in your name, then create one in your name. Um, I have one that's uh, Social Media Tips with Michelle and obviously that is to attract people that want help with social media um, and then I have one that's called healthier living with Michelle and so obviously you can assume that I'm uh, my niche in that with that fan page is healthier living so you want to think about what your audience wants okay so you might have it be like a success with your name okay or just have your first and last name with you know and that will be your fan page um, I personally like like um, success with and then your name because whoever sees that fan page is going to know that you're about success. So, um, you know, just kind of to think about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually name this, see, Michelle R. Oops. <laughs> Michelle R. Grigsby. Okay. Oops. All right, so I'm going to name it Michelle R. Grigsby. I'm including my middle initial so that I'm going to know that this is my fan page by using my middle initial because my profile is Michelle Grigsby. Okay, so let's go ahead and just leave it at that. I'm going to hit next. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to choose a category. Now, it gives you some suggestions, but I'm going to go ahead and tap select category. So what I did was I just tapped select a category. So tap on that. And I'm going to tap on people, okay, because I'm a person. And then I'm going to add a subcategory. So I'm going to tap on that. And I am an entrepreneur, right? And are you not an entrepreneur also? So since I'm branding myself and I am an entrepreneur, that's what I'm going to choose. All right. So I my category is people, entrepreneur, okay? And then I'm going to hit next right there, okay? So I just tapped on next. And now it's going to allow you to add your website. If you don't have a website yet, don't worry, you can add this later. So I'm just going to hit next. And now guys, now this is where it's created basically. You wanna add your profile picture and you wanna add a timeline. So this is where your picture goes and this is your timeline. Now you always recommend a professional headshot. So I'm just gonna tap on this little pencil icon and I'm gonna use my branded picture, which is this picture right there. So I'm going to tap on that. So what I had done is I had saved it to my phone already. So it's there. Now I'm going to tap on save up here in the right corner. And now um, here, what you want this on your business page is you want, remember, this is like the first thing that your prospects are going to see when they go to your page. Okay. So you want something that's that's going to speak about what your business is. Um, but let's see, I'm going to hit next first. So I'm going to tap on next. Yeah. And now it's given me the chance to add my new, um, my new photo up top. So I'm going to tap on this little pencil icon and I think I'm going to tap on this dreams one right here. I'm going to hit tap done. Perfect. So I'm going to hit save. 
Okay, so there it is. It's now uploaded, guys. Guys, I've got my, my thing set up, but there's a couple things I need for you to do. I'm going to tap visit page. So my fan page is Michelle R. Grigsby, and I have my timeline photo, and I have my picture. And now what we need to do, guys, is um, we're not going to invite our friends to like our page yet, and I'm not going to publish my first post yet. First, I want to go to edit page right there. So tap on edit page. And what I would do if I were you is change this template to a business template. So I'm going to tap on the little side arrow and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to tap on business. Okay. And then um, the reason why I like the business is because you can have a a button, a call to action button on your page, which will prompt people to either visit your website or a private group or wherever you want it to go. Um, so yeah, so it's it's an awesome um, template for you to use. So I'm going to tap on apply template right there. Okay, so I'm going to tap on apply template, and then I'm going to just save it for now. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is the template has been applied so I'm going to close that the next thing I want you to do really quickly is I also want you to um, I'm going to X out of that for now for sake of this I'm going to use this back arrow to go to edit page okay so what you're going to do next is I think you're going to tap these three dots right there yes and I'm going to click I'm going to tap on edit settings okay so I'm going to tap edit settings and guys, this is where, first of all, um, in general, I'm going to tap on general. Add this to your favorite so that it'll be easy for you to find your fan page. Okay? And I guess it automatically pins it also, which is fine. Um, don't worry about that. It's just going to be easier for you to find your fan page. Definitely make sure that your messages are on. Okay? And everything else, we're going to leave it as it is. I'm going to hit the back arrow here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tap on page info and I want to make sure that I have a description, you guys, 155 characters. So guys, your description is going to be really easy for your prospects to see your description. You want to describe what you do in 155 characters or less. It's not very much. So you just tap on description. I just tapped on it. And then I'm going to say, um, I have 57 characters. I help people find their voice in this busy online world using social media, inner marketing, and um, blogging. Just for now. Just because for sake of this. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to hit save. You can put in your phone number here. That will make it easier for people to find you by your phone number. And I'm going to hit save for now. Let's see. Page rules. Um... If you want to add another person to be an admin, you can do that right here on page rolls. Okay, so we are ready to rock and roll. And now what we need to do is we need to um, upload a couple of posts. Um, I would do some inspirational posts. And um, so publish your first post. And we need to get you some fans so that you can start um, using some of the strategies that we're teaching you on our team on how you can bring leads to your business guys if you are watching this on youtube click the link right below this and make sure make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel um, and if you're watching this on my blog click the link below this so that you can um, be a subscriber make sure you're a subscriber because i am doing tips like this all the time so make sure you subscribe and i will chat with you later have a great day